When the Lord asks you to do something, He doesn't give you the whole timetable and the whole plan and the map and the itinerary, and um, it's just one step at a time. When the daughters of Ishmael uh, mourned the death of their father and buried him at Nahum, it was a strange land. If you're disposed to be doubtful, dubious, cynical about this sort of thing, and now you're out there and you're actually paying a price, it's not merely uncomfortable, but, but people are dying. With the death of Ishmael, there would also be a choice in coping, just like with any of the events. They could have coped by murmuring and the divisiveness and then the shall we plot to kill somebody and have our way. Or there could be, I'll go to the Lord with my sorrow, which is the other way. But everybody has a choice and they, they made different choices with it. And they're asked now to walk away. It makes me want to cry. From, the, from their father's grave. Sometimes we need to look at it, if we can, from the standpoint of Laman and Lemuel and the children of Ishmael and so on. Uh, it's very easy, sitting comfortably as we do, to say, well, they shouldn't have murmured. Uh, they should have understood. But how would we feel <laughs> being taken away from our comfortable home, let out into the middle of nowhere by a visionary, uh, and we find ourselves starting to pay this really high price for it. So they mourned, and it would, it would have been a very difficult time for them. And then to leave, to go away from that place, never to return again, would have been very difficult because they were tied by their religious practice to the graves of their ancestors. <laughs> 